Hello, my name is Thales and I'm going to present to you uh, asynchronous methods for deep reinforcement learning, which is my final project for the machine learning and pattern recognition course taught by Professor Anderson at Unicamp. I'd like to start off talking about the reinforcement learning framework, which is a framework based on learning by interaction. So different from supervised and unsupervised learning, here Learning occurs in an interaction between agent and the environment. Agents are allowed to perform actions to the environment, which performs a change, which changes the dynamics of the environment, and as a result, the environment responds with a reward and a state, a new state. The asynchronous advantage ectocritic or A3C algorithm try to estimate two values, a policy and a value function. A policy is a probability distribution of taking an action A, given that we are in state S. And a value function at a state S is the expected cumulative reward from being at state S and following a given policy afterwards. Uh, here is the function approximator or the convolutional neural network we used for learning policies and value functions for Atari games. The network takes images of shape 84x84x4 as input, and the takeaway is that the same network and the same hyperparameters are used for learning the policies and the value functions for both games. And the two games we chose are Breakout and Demon Attack. And the reward function we developed is basically a plus one signal when the, when the agent manages to score on the game. In the Demon Attack, for example, it means killing one of, uh, one of these enemies. In the Breakout, it means breaking one of those pieces here. And also, a minus one signal is assigned to the agent every time it loses a life on other games. Here is the A3C framework for learning. As you can see, we have uh, parallel workers. Each worker represents an agent, and each agent has its own environment and its own neural network. And most of the learning procedure occurs here, within the agents. But from time to time, the agents perform the synchronization operation with the global network. As can be seen here in the pseudocode, the first steps regards initializing the agents, the parallel agents, so that they have the same weights as the global network. After that, this small loop here, in this small loop, the agents perform actions gets, and gets rewards and new states. And then they calculate and accumulate gradients for both the policy function and for the value function. And finally, the agents perform a synchronization operation with the global network so that they update the global network weights using their accumulated gradients. Uh, here is a demo of uh, my solution using the A3C algorithm. Uh, one interesting takeaway here is the strategy that the agent learns for achieving high score on the games. For the breakout agent, for example, it learns a policy that says that it's interesting to try to dig a hole on the bricks here so that it can put the ballistic through the hole. And by doing that, it can achieve a lot of scores like that with very very few effort. As you can see, it's a pattern that it does a lot. That's my final project. Thank you.